Hey everybody, welcome to TonalTrends.com. So, if you're like me, you like spotting things like animals hiding in the grass or like up in trees or Waldo in that one book, or spotting anything that you might have missed if you weren't looking hard enough. Well, here at TonalTrends.com, we spot fun things in music that not everybody might notice and then blog about it. See, what I call a Tonal Trends spotter is just a person who wants to know the reasons why some songs are fun and some not so fun. Why? So they can appreciate the music and so they can make better music themselves. Okay, but how is this done? Well, just like computer people need to learn about coding so they can make software, or like sculptors need to learn about clay, rock, or metal, so they can dig all the cool art and so they can make all the cool art, musicians need to learn about chords and melodies and rhythms and all that sort of thing. Some people call this music theory, but don't be scared. TonalTrends.com is more geared towards the studio or band practice or the stage than it's about getting good grades in music college. Not that there's anything bad about music schools. I graduated from music college myself and I had a blast while I was there. It's just that some of the classical music jargon is a little bit different than how we talk about things as pop musicians. Just FYI. Alright, why did I start this site? Well, if I had to pick just one reason, I'd say because when I was young, I learned that the three most popular chords in music were the one, the four, and the five chords. Well, then I was like, well, cool, Bob, what are the fourth, fifth, and sixth most popular chords in music? I mean, how many chords are there even out there that people even use? And so on. Well, I couldn't really find any definitive answers to those questions. So, long story short, I went out and I collected a bunch of data, and I figured it out for myself. It took me kind of a long time. And guess what? The next most popular pop chords are the flat 7, minor 6, and the minor 2. And in total, there's arguably anywhere from 26 to no more than 50 chord triad types people use in any given song. With about as many ways as you can spice up those chords in chord triad types by adding notes or moving notes around. I found other cool stuff in my searches too, like A, E, and G are the most popular keys or tonal centers people write songs in out of the 12 keys. Also, about 9% of popular songs have modulations to other keys, and 44% of songs I've studied so far have a bridge or a third section. And the most common tempo used across the board is 112 beats per minute. So yeah, want to know more tonal trends and tonal tricks to put in your own tonal tool shed? Let's take a look around. Spotter Smarts is where we blog about specific music theory concepts that are good to know, when you're studying songs and spotting the tonal trends. The Spotter Syncs blog is where we blog about popular songs themselves in real time while you listen to them on your iPod or some other music player. Spotter Stats is where we dig into the database and explore more big picture tonal trends across all songs. There's other stuff on here too that you should check out. Just visit the pages themselves and there'll be more intro videos that explain the stuff on those pages. Last, if you like spotting stuff in music, I mean if you like it enough to go tell people about it, you can and you should submit your own blogs to the site. More on how to do that in the Spotter Shooters page. So yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, don't forget to sign up on our email list and like us on Facebook and YouTube. And also follow us on Twitter to get the tonal tweets. Alright, well, let's get spotting. You want to know more tonal trends and tonal tricks to put in your tonal to tonal to put in your tonal tool shed? Let's take a look around.